Yeah. I would have a brief introduction about the nitrogen recommendation on the climate uncertainty and the price risk. So first is this is the basic framework that we are being included staples. Firstly, let me talk a little about why the use of nitrogen rate is mentor when it in comes into climate uncertainty and the price risk. The basic idea is how much profit that the producers can get. It depends on the price and also the yield. But the yield is uh, the yield uncertainty is mainly come from the climate uncertainty and the, the use of nitrogen rate can have an impact on the yield response to the climate uncertainty. So the choice of nitrogen rate combined with the price, ri price risk would finally de decide what the profit that the farmers would have. And then what should be mentioned is also that the different farmers have different risk versions of the risk. So people with different risk appetites will have different optimal nitrogen rates under the, under the climate and the price, price uncertainty. So the, our analysis framework includes three steps. The first step, we needed to figure out the response of yield to the climate uncertainty on the various nitrogen rate. And the second step would be combined with the price information for winter wheat and also the nitrogen fertilizer, uh, we would get a profit, res uh, this, uh, profit response to the nitrogen rate. And finally, the last step is to choose an uh, optimal nitrogen rate for people with different risk uh, aversions. Then th this page, this slide shows the yield this response to nitrogen rate under uh, on, on the climate for this figure, the hori horizontal axis, the nitrogen rate, and the vertical axis is the yield. The, the, and, um, the, the gray dots is the simulation of yield on the different weather scenarios. We conduct areas for 23, for 23 scenarios. And the green line, the mean of yield on the each weather, uh, on the each nitrogen application. So we can see that, uh, and the, for the size and the years, we now do analysis for two sides, the Ashland and the Arena, uh, uh, and for seven years, it's not a cont continuous. You see, there we like of 2012, and the, because the, the data for 2012 is not good for analysis for now. We can see that the at the beginning, a higher nitrogen rate would, would, would mean a higher mean yield of winter wheat, but uh, the year would grow infinitely because uh, it would be constrained by other factors. And also with a higher nitrogen rate, the year the volatility would be also uh, increasing. So th this, figure, uh, this figure just let me know, let us know how the yield is a response to the nitrogen rate for its, um, its average, average level and also the standard uh, the, the, its distribution. And then we come to the profit. We calculate the profit use, uh, use, the, uh, uh, use the revenue get from the uh, wheat matters the cost of nitrogen. The, the price of wheat is, uh, is, is written because people don't know uh, the price, uh, the uh, wheat price at the time of the uh, of planting. But the cost of nitrogen is given because people, the farmer would know the cost of nitrogen at the beginning of planting. So, we calculate the, re the the profit based on this formula, and we can get it uh, get and also compare with the price information. Uh, we can get the 
mean of profit and also the standard deviation of profit profit on the different nitrogen level. And then we can see there is a decision base and decision base. The decision within the decision base, there would be a trade off between a higher expected profit and a higher the standard, uh, standard deviation, that means risk. But beyond the decision space, the, um, there would be a, a decreasing profit because, because the, the, the gain from, uh, from the year the increment can't, cannot be offset by the, uh, uh, be, because the cost of lighting rate cannot, cannot be offset by the, uh, gain of uh, increment yield. So now the problem is how to choose optimal nitrogen rate within this decision space. We use a very simple criterion function that reflects a trade-off between the expected profit and the risk. The, in this formula, the better B is the risk asset. If the B equal to zero, that means the farmer is a risk is a is a risk neutral. If there is a, if a farmer hold a higher B, that means he was a very risk aversion. Then based on this criteria function, we can get the optimal nitrogen rate for people with different risk appetite. That basically the the highest level that that basically is the nitrogen rate that makes the uh, makes the highest criterion function value. So finally, we can get the, the optimal nitrogen uh, optimal nitrogen rates for different years and the size and the for, uh, also for different uh, people. Usually, it, it will be different different among peoples among people a higher risk aversion usually means a lower optimal nitrogen rate because uh, because the a higher a higher nitrogen rate usually means a higher uh, means a higher risk like sure like what showing in this figure and then the optimal nitrogen rate also would be vary between years because there are also other factors that can impact the yield that, that would be different among, uh, between years. So basically, that, that what we do now, we have three step, three step model. The first step is to get the yield distribution under climate uncertainty. And the second step is to combine the price information get the profit distribution on the different nitrogen rates. And finally, we get the demo nitrogen rate based on the criterion function. Um, but I think there's still some further, uh, some work need to be, need to be further done. The first thing is we want to get a, a more accurate me measure of yield response to the climate uncertainty because uh, because, because this information is very important for what, what results we will get. So we, the, the, the biggest problem is to get a more precise and reliable distribu yield distribution response to the clim uh, climate uncertainty. And the second, I also want to do some comparison with the accurate the, with the actual nitrogen practice in real to our model, that would be get a recommendation to uh, for people that uh, how how about uh, whether the the nitrogen rate they use in practice is too higher or too lower to uh, to to the uh, when when we consider the climate uncertainty and the price risk. So that's basically what we do now. And uh, is there any suggestions? 